And please, let's not pretend black women like we're just balling, okay? Because I definitely see the difference of how you order when you're on a date versus you order when you're paying for yourself or uh, out with your friends. But that's the thing. Who cares? If she can get away with doing that, let her do it. You know why? Because the n- letting her do it. So if the n- ain't tripping, why should you trip? Why are you triggered? Triple T G gang. We back in this thing. You already know what it is. If you do not know who I am, my name is Diamond. I run this channel called True to the Game. You already know why you came today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, what we're going to be reacting to. Women are ruining the dating scene? Question mark. We're going to find out in this video right here. Make sure you go cop the merch, man. True to the Game merch is out. True to the Game is on the front. Stop simping is on the back. Also, if you want my help directly, make sure you hit the link in my description down below to book a call with me. You ain't got no bitches you want one. You got one bitch you want a ton. Make sure you hit the link in my description down below so I can give you some specific advice catered to your situation. And if you are a pimp and not a simp, like this video, comment your thoughts down below. Hit the subscribe button. Select all notifications so you do not miss an upload. Where I'm getting you closer to being a pimp, less of a simp. Let's get into it. Let's do it. I am really tired of you women, <laughs> especially women who look like me getting on the internet and representing for the masses you do not represent me at all a lot of you therefore i was like let me get on here and represent myself and those like me y'all sitting up here going viral every other day because of what y'all complain about what y'all don't like in a man what a man ain't giving you enough money for this or for that i just heard some girl is viral because she was complaining about getting thirty dollars for lunch baby baby be thankful but this is the thing they can be as cocky as they want to be i know you're like diamond you're tripping you're fucking tripping right now i clicked this video and i knew you was gonna say some real ass shit but right now you're tweaking i know you're saying that right now but these women have every right to be cocky and the reason why is because these niggas are weak these niggas are weak the reason why there's so many of these cocky ass women out here is because it's even more soft niggas out here with no game. Any nigga with game, first of all, we're not sending you shit, bitch. We're not sending you shit. We are going to go on a cool little date. Whether that be for coffee, for a drink, for a slice of pizza, for a walk in the park, we are going to do some cool, cheap ass shit. Do you know why? Because I am, I am the value, right? I'm the value. And when we go on this date, you're going to see that. And if you don't see that, I'm not going to be in this situation because I only deal with women who see the value in me because I see the value in me. So if you don't see the value in me, it's cool. Every woman's not going to see the value in you. It's okay. As long as you see the value in you. And then you also have the discernment to see whether or not through her behaviors and through her actions, whether or not she, she sees the value in you. If she doesn't see the value in you, you get the fuck, hey, get the fuck on. It was nice knowing you. We're just not compatible. And that's okay. We're not going to be compatible with everybody. I'm not friends with everybody. My personality doesn't mesh with everybody. You're not supposed to be with everybody. It's okay. Stop trying to be for the women who are not supposed to be for you. Just because she looks good does not mean that she's good for you. Stop pedestalizing a woman because of her fucking looks. If her actions and behaviors do not match. All right. So once again, I hear where she's coming from. I hear, yeah, the bitch is ungrateful as fuck. You said $30. You only going to send me $30. You need to send me about 100 Yeah, she's fucking out of her mind. She's delusional. But at the same time, she is. she has every right to act that way because somebody, some dude out there made her feel like that was okay to have, her, have that type of mindset and that type of attitude. Some weak ass nigga out here validated the fact that she should act. Like she's looking down on every dude that she's speaking to. But when she meets a real one, she already know. That shit is not going, it ain't going to fly. She ain't going to make it past day one with that type of behavior. 
with a nigga with game who knows, loves, and values himself and knows his worth. It ain't gonna happen. First of all, I'm so sick of y'all bragging about how much y'all money y'all got and how y'all don't need a ninja. But <laughs> then y'all can play constantly. That's $30 less than your meal. First of all, let's be clear. The real broke people is y'all. That's why y'all complaining. Because y'all over here looking for men to pay for things, but y'all want to disguise it as, oh, he's broke. No, baby, you're broke. I'm no rich woman myself, but at the same time, I'm not the one sitting here crying, uh, complaining about getting $30 for lunch. I'm also not the woman sitting here saying that I don't need a man when I definitely, definitely um, do. <laughs> so this is what we're going to say, right? This is what we're going to say. Never be offended by those type of women who do those type of things, right? Because at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, is that happening to me? Because if it's not happening to me, why give a fuck what's happening to the next guy, right? Is it happening to you? And if it's happening to you and you say, yes, Diamond, it's actually happening to me, I can resonate with that. So that's why I feel some type of way. And that's why I feel triggered, Diamond. Do you not understand? These bitches out here are very ungrateful. If you can actually resonate with that, then there's bigger problems. And you need to hit the link in my description down below to book a call with me, baby, so we can get you out of that mindset that's keeping you in that purgatory. Because it is hell dealing with women and having these experiences with women. They're all going to be negative if you have a mindset that is weak. Point blank, period. So click the link in my description down below. But look, if you don't want to book a call, it's fine. Just hit the subscribe button, select all notifications, right? Hit the bell, select all notifications. Because there's game in all of these videos that I drop. And so for one, if it's not your situation, stop worrying about another person's situation. That's for one. If you're worried about that because it's happening to you, you got to understand that it's happening to you because you're soft and you're weak. And it is what it is. I'm not trying to bash you. I'm not trying to talk shit about you. I'm just keeping it real. Somebody got to tell you, bro. Somebody's got to let you know what the facts are. And if you're allowing and tolerating this type of behavior from these women out here, it's it has way more to do with you than it has to do with the woman. Because like I said, when you have game, I wish a bitch would try to, you know, come to me with any of that bullshit. Even if she did. Peace, bye bye, vamos, you're gone, right? So that's the whole thing about it. There's no reason to be upset about the women doing what they're doing and saying what they're saying because if they can get away with that shit, it is gonna be niggas out there who are gonna give her a hundred dollars. Oh, oh, sorry, that wasn't enough. I'll give you a hundred. Why wouldn't she? Why shouldn't she feel cocky? She only feels cocky because there's so many weak ass niggas out here. So who who is really to blame? She wouldn't have that attitude if it wasn't for the weak ass niggas. So who is really to blame? Uh, like I said, I'm not saying that it's not fucked up what some of these women are doing. But where is it stemming from? Weak ass niggas out here, man. And that's just facts. And always will and always have. You're speaking to someone uh, who was a waitress for over a decade. So I'm very aware of spending habits of all races of people. And please, let's not pretend black women like we're just balling, okay? Because I definitely see the difference of how you order when you're on a date versus you order when you're paying for yourself or uh, out with your friends. But that's the thing. Who cares? If she can get away with doing that, let her do it. You know why? Because the nigga's letting her do it. So if the nigga ain't tripping, why should you trip? Why are you triggered? And it's a lot of ladies who have something to say about other ladies, right? And it's a lot of this content that's going viral nowadays. A lot of content that's bashing women is going viral. So you're going to see more and more people bash women. Even women bashing women, right? Which is wild behavior. This is wild behavior, you know? Now, is she saying facts? Yes, she's saying facts that it is fucked up and it's very ungrateful. And it does show a lack of good character when women do these things, yes, but you also have to realize and recognize that they're not doing that with a nigga with game. They're not doing that with a solid nigga. They're not doing that with a man of value. They're just not doing it. They're doing it to soft, simp ass niggas who allow themselves to be walked all over. And with that being said, you deserve that. 
If you allow it, you deserve it. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm going to say it. You're asking for four split checks and um, asking me to split appetizers and uh, leaving me $2. But that's a, a conversation for another day. I just want to understand why we are so ungrateful and why are we acting like um, it's not hard out here? And why are you not grateful of what a man provides? Because a lot of these guys are not providing shit. All they're providing is a bank account for a bitch to take all of their money and run off to the next nigga who they don't want for their bank account. They want because he knows who we are, who, who, he, who we are. He knows who he is and he values himself and he loves himself. They're going to that nigga where the real value is. Well, that's the real bank account. His bank account is a mental bank account, right? His bank account is one who she can connect emotionally to, right? That's the bank account that she want, not the dollar bank account. She want the dollar bank account from the chump. From the chip chump. You know they say chipmunk? The chip chump. That's who she wants the dollars from the bank account from. But a real solid nigga who knows who the fuck he is, loves himself and respects himself, she just wants him for him. If you want to know more about how you can be that guy, hit the link in my description down below to book a call with me. You ain't got no bitches you want one, you got one bitch you want a ton. Hit the link in my description down below to book a call with me so we can actually break down your situation and I can give you some advice. Go cop the merch, man. True to the Game merch is out. True to the Game is on the front. Stop simping is on the back. If you are pimping out a simp, like this video, comment your thoughts down below. Hit the subscribe button, select all notifications so you do not miss an upload. Where I'm getting you closer to being a pimp, less of a simp. I will see you in the next one. And last but not least, I'm out this thing. Stay true to the game.